So Denko, mm -hmm. I have my favorite places to put to use liquid flash and uh, versus tape. May I, I, know, if, may I know that secret? What are your favorite <laughs> places? <laughs> I prefer to put liquid flash everywhere. Okay, that's my first, that's my go-to. But okay. it's not always practical from a budget standpoint, time mm -hmm. standpoint, just availability. Um, so at, we want, I want to ask you, your, from a, from a building science perspective or just from a practicality perspective, what, if you were to say, all right, only do liquid flashing in these areas and the rest is well enough as tape, where would you choose to put liquid flash and, and, and really discourage yeah. using tape just because of its, the condition and, and the, the, for the, for durability sake. Okay. So, well, a couple of the things, like when you apply either tape or liquid flash is you consider what type of substrate you have, yeah. what the complexity of geometry you have to address, if you have any penetrations, yeah. is the tape the best way to go? Yeah. Maybe not, yeah. like the liquid flash is yeah. way easier thing to go around and then they make a good like watertight and airtight point. seal. Yeah. Uh, so that would be my choice of preference. Any kind of complex penetrations, the, the other one I like a lot to use liquid flash Inside corner. Here, inside corner yeah. because they start putting the tape it's hard to get it's it, really it's difficult hard. yeah yeah, yeah so the outside corner is a little yeah, bit no brainer yeah, 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 the yeah, tape is okay on outside just do one side and then yeah, the other yeah yeah exactly like inside is a little little trick here yeah. to avoid the ring it is the tape. Yeah. i mean it can be done but yeah and the third one i also like is to use a liquid flash like in the bottom of like position like silk plate to the foundation so it yeah. works beautifully especially if your foundation is solid concrete and and you have to um, and with with the liquid flash, you don't need a, a spray adhesive or any kind of a primer no, to, no. To, to apply it. Yeah. Whereas the tapes, you would have you would need a primer, correct? Uh, well, it depends. Yeah. It's not quite a yeah. straight answer, yes or no. Yeah, right. so some like, tapes, uh, yes. Yeah, some the tapes. Concrete no. is relatively dry, not mm -hmm. dirty and dusty and smooth. Yeah, yeah tape works fine. But and how often do you see that in the? I was going to say how area? how how easy is yeah. that to achieve? Exactly. You know? I mean, and just to to give you. And you still want it clean, even with liquid flash. Yeah. But yeah, there's yeah, still yeah. more forgiveness, forgiveness with that. I agree, yeah. 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 So I agree with those. I, I think that every penetration, obviously, and around windows and doors, yeah. when yeah. window door openings, again, there's just it's the origami of 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 all the penetrations, especially pipe penetrations mm -hmm. that around the stretch yeah. tape you guys have. Yes. Yeah, works tape, awesome yeah, for that. Good alternative to yeah. regular tape yeah. around these things. Yeah. So I mean, there are yeah. ways to do it. You know that if the liquid flash isn't available or you're just more mm -hmm. comfortable or maybe the budget's better with tape yeah that sort of thing but i i either like ultimately you know the house we did that was 0 0.05 ach rate that's super tight one the entire envelope that we did mm -hmm. we didn't have the zip we used just regular plywood sheathing and then we just covered the entire house with this yep. this yep. type of product the stpe based liquid flashing the whole thing just covered yep. in that and that yep. And it, we, we had our painter do that. That was, mm -hmm. and painter can do this too. I mean, it's, it can be done with, with some of the products they use every day. And the yeah. other really tough condition is your wall to roof transition That's and right. the eaves. Yep. So they have That's all right. these, whatever, like rafters protruding through the yeah. wall. Well, the Something good thing about a lot of tape there, but to yeah. me it's another good choice, like candidate for, for a little bit. Like I think it's a, this, yeah. I think it's a must up there. I think all of the nails on the roof, all the seams on the roof, because as the water because they don't cover the roof right away. And so when that roof is exposed to weather and the water water's running down the roof, you guys have done mm -hmm. the testing and you show if you have a perfect install, it, it held, holds up. But we're dealing with an industry that isn't putting doing it in a laboratory, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. And so water will find a seam, a little, you know, a seam in the tape at the top and it'll find its way into that hole and then it'll find it into a crack. We saw this at our tiny house, one overdriven nail caused a leak inside the house that how is this possible we're using this thing's 0.2 ach 50 you yeah, know like yeah, why yeah. is it so because of a couple of overdriven nails water was getting into these holes finding its way horizontally through the strands yeah, 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 you know and, yeah. and causing a swell you mm -hmm. know so you, this is where these are areas it just makes sense to do yeah. the liquid that's probably the fourth application, perfect application for liquid flash. If not to treat all driven fasteners. Overdriven fasteners, it's yeah. yeah. Fasten is just a little tab, it's married yeah. and move, move, move it on. So, yeah. and especially for the roofs. I mean, the walls are okay, yeah. but to me, like, my major yeah. risk comes on the roofs, yeah. 
something you taught me as well is, and it's, and you can see the difference here is that you guys have a minimum recommendation for thickness and width. Mm -hmm. When that's followed, mm -hmm. those tubes that you spend what you spend on, you know, they're mm -hmm. not cheap yep. necessarily, Yeah. but they can go a lot further. If you follow your recommendations, yep. you have your installation instructions, you have a certain thickness. And once you get, if you do a little mock-up before a project mm -hmm. starts and you figure out, okay, that's the thickness we're trying to achieve. That's the width we're trying to achieve. Yep. Let's come up with a method to make that happen yep. super fast. Mm -hmm. They could have potentially saved 30% of the number of tubes. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, yeah. We're not doing the math today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought very excellent points. So the standard zip tape is like a, like three and three quarter inch wide and you don't need to go that wide with a liquid flash. It's right. kind of overkill. We say like one inch on each side of your yep. seam and joint is enough. And so, what's the thickness? So we're shooting for like 12 mils, 15 yep. mils dry yep. thickness. So, but it's Which small, is measured yeah. with a mill gauge, mill gauge yeah. that most people don't carry with Don't them care about you know it. and you just as you're applying it you just you hold it there and you say okay that's yeah. the right thickness my point is that it can be intimidating because you're like oh my gosh i'm 100 yeah. bottles in and each yeah. bottle costs 60 bucks and now oh my gosh there yeah. went the budget well if you're doing it appropriately i think mm -hmm. that's i think that's the message is follow the instructions because y'all have done the test and you guys are saying this is all you need. Yeah, yeah. But you're doing too much and that's why it's costing yeah. what it's costing. I would just say your eyes are an amazing tool. Yeah. They like, yeah. you can see with your eyes a fully covered surface. You're yeah. pretty good to that's go. Right. You just need, they just need, to, nobody, yeah. Yeah. they don't really understand those principles because they're not told that. Yeah. Say, you know, yeah. like you're yeah. not on yeah. every job site. Yeah. yeah. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call anytime. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, Danko, thanks for coming out to our, another one of our cool projects. Yeah, and, uh, time, yeah man, this I enjoy is, it. It's going to be, it. we're going to be uh, sharing a lot on this channel. I mean, all, all of our, you know, respective mm -hmm. channels at Sawhorse, um, LG Squared, uh, Home Performance Workshop. They're going to, they're going to be sharing something. Corbett Lunsford. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff we're going to be learning on this project and sharing it with everybody. And we'll, have links to all those uh, uh, sites below. We'll have information about your product. Um, there is a great um, interactive virtual walkthrough of this project mm -hmm. that we're going to be adding to with these videos. I mean, it's a great process to follow. So anybody that's that's watching now can just you know be sure to follow along. Um, we really appreciate everybody's participation and, and help, and, and we're going to share all the stuff we you know learn. I know you know screwed up all the successes all the failures all that stuff that we're learning along the way yeah. so we can share that with the world and then you know show how we're learning from it and make it because yeah. we're never perfect and we just we want to make a better world so yeah, anyway. everybody does i mean I, yeah. I, I i'm really happy to be today here because this is probably i would say the largest zip project i've seen with the liquid flash all over the place so cool and um I'm just curious to see what I'm going to do on the board outside. Oh, yeah. so I'm you going to find out real soon. Going. It's cool. a little different one. I mean, real world is real yeah. world, and the STM lab tests are yeah. completely different things. So. Yeah. Cool. I, I'm, I'm excited. Thanks, man. <laughs>